In a world of noise, of chaos, there are places where silence is absolute. The air thins, the light dies, only pressure remains relentless. This is not a journey, this is a descent into the heart of darkness, and there, hidden beneath hundreds of meters of water, a legend was born. No one saw it arrive, no one heard it depart. It is Kilo 636, The Silent Beast. Let us explore. Kilo 636, also known as Project 636 Varshavyanka, is not just a submarine, it is a statement. Born in the heart of the Cold War, when two superpowers pushed each other to the limits of technology, the need for a sub-hunting machine, terrifyingly silent, became the top priority. The Soviet Union poured all its resources into creating something that could be invisible underwater. This was not a typical arms race. This was a war of engineers and scientists working in the shadows, turning physical principles into a tool of life and death. They created a masterpiece of silence, a weapon that didn't need to fire to instill fear. So how can a submarine weighing thousands of tons be so silent? This is where engineering transforms into art. Number one, anechoic tiles. Outside, the kilo is covered in thousands of special rubber tiles. They don't just absorb enemy sonar, they devour the sound generated by the ship itself. It's like a magician making noise disappear. Number two, engines and mounts. Every engine, pump, and ventilator is mounted on special isolation systems, completely separated from the hull, like a ballerina gracefully on point, moving without a sound. Number three, hydrodynamic design. The sleek, tapered shape of the Kilo 636 isn't just for speed. It's optimized to minimize water noise, reducing hydrodynamic turbulence. A shape sculpted by physics, creating stillness. This is not just about assembling parts. This is a symphony of sound cancellation, where every tiny detail is designed to serve one purpose, to vanish. If Kilo 636 is a silent predator, then its ears are what make it most dangerous. 1. Passive Sonar This is where the art of listening reaches its peak. Kilo emits no sound. It simply listens. Hundreds of highly sensitive microphones, hydrophones, arrayed across its hull, picking up the slightest sounds in the ocean. From the distant propeller hum of a destroyer, to whale songs, to the cracking of ice, each sound is a piece of the underwater puzzle. 2. Active Sonar This is a double-edged sword, emitting a ping to see clearer, but also revealing oneself. Kilo 636 uses active sonar with extreme caution, only when necessary. It's like a blind man suddenly turning on a flashlight in a dark room, seeing the target, but also being seen. In the control room, sonar operators are sound artists. They don't just hear. They feel every vibration, every frequency. They transform the colorful bands on the screen into a three-dimensional world fraught with danger and mystery. Behind the cold, inanimate exterior of Kilo 636 are humans, dozens of sailors confined within a steel cage under unimaginable pressure. 1. Isolation. Cut off from the outside world. No sunlight, no fresh air. Only comrades and four metal walls. The human psyche tested to its limits. 2. Camaraderie. But it is within that isolation that camaraderie becomes stronger than ever. They are each other's family, trusting each other every moment. The survival of each depends on the other. 
3. Effort and operation. Every button, every switch, every maneuver is the result of thousands of hours of training, thousands of hours of effort. There is no room for error. This is not just a machine. This is a human collective, those who chose to live a silent life amidst nameless dangers to carry out a mission the world above will never truly understand. Kilo 636 is not a defensive tool. It is a predator. 1. Arsenal. Inside it is a powerful arsenal. Torpedoes. Cruise missiles. Each warhead is a silent warning to anyone who dares to trespass. 2. Stealth capability. Its stealth capability is not just a tactical advantage. It is a haunting obsession for its adversaries. They know Kilo could be anywhere, but cannot find it. Its invisible presence is more terrifying than any explosion. 3. Legacy. Kilo 636, with all its terrifying silence, is a symbol. A symbol of pushing the limits of science, engineering, and human resilience. It is proof that, even in ultimate silence, there is immense power. It's not just a ship. It's a philosophy. The silent beast. It is still active. It is not just a testament to the pinnacle of Soviet engineering, but also a question. How far are we willing to go to achieve superiority? And what is the true cost of absolute silence? Kilo 636, a cold work of engineering art, where beauty lies in absence. The absence of sound, the absence of presence. It reminds us that, even in humanity's most silent endeavors, great stories are told. Stories of exploration, of relentless effort, and of the art hidden within every cold metallic line. Kilo 636, a legend forged in silence, a testament to the ultimate limits of human resolve. It reminds us that even in the deepest, coldest depths, the greatest stories of ambition and enduring power continue to echo. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you felt the chilling presence of the silent beast, show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing for more epic dives into the untold stories of engineering and history.